Put a finger down if you know the Nasheed. <laughs> Muhammad is the messenger, Allah is our friend. Mawla ya salli wa sallim daiman abad. Rahman ya Rahman, sa'adni ya Rahman. Mawla ya salli wa sallim daiman abad. أبدا لا لن نحيد، أبدا لا لن نحيد، أبدا لا لن نحيد عن. That's exactly what tawakkul means. It means that I don't see the solution. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But I do know one thing for sure. And that is, Inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. Indeed, my Lord is with me and he will guide me through. And when we have that kind of attitude, Allah promises us something. That he will split seas for us. That situations that look impossible, Allah will make a way out. Qamarun, 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 Sithna al-Nabi, Qamarun, Qajameel, 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 Sithna al-Nabi, Qajameel. Okay, people ask me why am I a professional on du'ats? Let me tell you this. Wallahi, never once did my du'ats never come true. Ask even the people around me. My mom, my own mom says, Afnan, one thing about you from all my kids you're the luckiest. Allah always gives you what you want and it's weird. You know why? Because I completely believe in my du'as and the way I do them are so sincere and they never fail me. You guys don't even understand. Sometimes I don't plan things and I'm like in my head, Allah's going to make it work. Till the last minute and it works. And I'm just like, see, I told you. So trust me, my du'as come true. If you follow the way I'm telling you to do du'ats, they will come true. And don't forget that I still make du'ats for all my followers. Wallahi, I still do it. I'm not lying about that. Remember when I said I, I make du'ats for you guys? You're still in my du'ats. Like, oh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that more women are going to be in hell than men. And that is correct. And I cannot argue whatever our Prophet, peace be upon him, said. But why did he say that? Number one, because women could do more fitna because of their beauty, even if they don't mean it. Women in general could create fitna. Number two, because there is more women than men. The population of women is way more than men. And that's also one of the reasons why you, like a man can marry four. Not all of them, there's other aspects. I'm not gonna enter into that conversation, but the point is the population of women are way more. So think about it, obviously.
yolunda. Allah hasbi Rabbi cel- Muslim. Islam. Islam. Muslim. 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 They call them Muslim. They worship a god named Allah. So are we cool? Like, are we in agreement? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I have to go. What the heck is A, B, C, D, E, F, G mean? It's just a phrase I like to use. That means is that a real phrase? The conversation is over. <laughs> There are over 700,000 Muslims in Ukraine. If you are Muslim, please make dua for the people of Ukraine. May Allah protect them. Russia, Ukraine, who should we side with? Who's right, who's wrong? Have a look at this verse. This is the sixth verse from Quran, and this is very interesting. They'll give you a good answer. O oh, you who have believed, if there comes to you a disobedient one with information, investigate least you harm a people out of ignorance and become over what you have done regretful hold on a second russia is right or wrong ukraine the bad or good who are we listening to we're listening to news these people they're not just disobedient they are more than just that but hold on a second are we even investigating what they're telling us you see if you don't investigate and you take your news from people who are disobedient to their creator what ends up happening you end up harming people out of ignorance so stop relying on news get your information right before you start taking sides it's very dangerous we've been doing that for a long time stop believing media <laughs> Now this sheikh is mentioning about one lady and she lives in a place in Egypt called Sharqiyya and she's a doctor in one of the biggest hospitals in Cairo. Unfortunately she is among those who are putting full makeup, no hijab, full perfume and high heel and going and beside all this what she's doing Allah gave her the beauty. Besides she is beautiful, she is making it more, you know, uh, in front of other people by putting the makeup and by making her hair. The way she leaves, there is, you can say, uh, a wave of a perfume, you know, following that lady because she's completely, uh, you know, almost uh, swam in a, in, a, in a perfume. In to extent that the women, the sisters, other sisters are getting more fitna by looking at her than the brothers. Can you imagine? Some of the sisters by looking at her and her beauty and the way she is dressed up and the high heel and making noises and while she's walking and all this. So some other ladies, those who are wearing hijab, now they are feeling, you know, sad and depressed that, you know, look at her beauty, look how she dressed up and all these things. And, and Allahu Alam, how many people really, you know, removed their, their hijab or maybe start wearing makeup or start pu putting perfume because of that sister. How many young people men went back home and they have desire because just by looking at her you know their desire start moving inside and they went home and start doing something haram individually so imagine all that sin of these people are on that lady that sister doctor those married men looking at her and and being amazed by looking at her and and the way she walks and the way she talks and the makeup and all those things they are going back to their houses and looking their wife and fighting with their wife Some of the other doctors and sisters and and uh, female doctors they start reminding her about allah subhanahu wa ta'ala she didn't care so the day passes the weeks passes the months passes what happened at the end she fell down on her face it was the qadr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that she died now on the same hospital, she was given ghusl and she was admitted in, in one of the uh, freezers for, for a couple of time. And then they took her, they put her in the kafan, they took her to the one of the ambulance. They started driving again. For the third time, they couldn't bear the, the smell, where this smell is coming from. 
So they stop the car and they check the car entirely. And when they opened the back door of the car, they found the body and the coffin was on fire. نزعت أسرار قلبي